Hey everybody, welcome to The Motley Feud. I'm Michael Noland, I'll be your host tonight where one member of the Motley Crew family pits himself against three members. No, four members. There's a stepbrother involved. His name is John Five. Now with John Five, we have John Five, Nikki Six, What's Next? Tommy Three and Vince One Ton? But either way, just like the McClouds always say, there can only be one winner. The story begins with Mick Mars, really. He's been suffering a whole lot due to health issues, and in October of 2022, he announced his retirement from performing live with Motley Crue. Of course, the band responded by trying to cut Mick Mars' shares in the band, despite the fact that Mick Mars gave the band its name, financed the band, and was one of the original members. Instead of the 25% share, the band offered Mick 5% of what they would make in 2023 touring. Of course, they would later up that to a gracious 7.5%, with Mick responding with a countersuit in April of 2023. Now, we've heard the back and forth bantering between members and Mick uh, throughout this channel has covered those all along the way. I'll leave one of those videos right up here in the corner. Of course, the suit is finally seen, the light of day, and a ruling of sorts has come down the pike. Now, don't forget, when the band upped to 7.5%, they were also requesting that Make Mars divest himself of the entire band, any claims to ownership. Now, the case isn't over by a long shot. It goes into arbitration later on this year. But the judge in the case has handed down a ruling saying that Motley Crue was guilty of not giving Mick Mars the paperwork they say they gave him. Now, not only did they not give Mick the paperwork he requested, they would wind up having to give him through this whole legal process, an additional 1,372 pages. So all of this will be taken note in arbitration. It's good news for Nick, yet both sides are claiming a victory. They're claiming, of course, that they gave all the paperwork and that the case is essentially over at this point. Now, make no mistake, I'm not a Motley Crue fan. I never have been. But at least when they first came out, they had a few good tunes. They were competent enough as a band. It wasn't my style of rock and roll, but they had talent. But what's happening today, folks? That band goes on a never-ending tour, always promising, oh, we're riding up a storm. We've got an album coming out this year. And yet, Mick Mars beat him to the punch. Have you heard the two tracks that are out on his album right now? Both of them are fantastic. I can't wait for this album to come out because I really want to review it. You know, I can't make up my mind between these two tracks. Right Side of Wrong or Loyal to the Lie, both of them sounding rather grungy to me. Uh, not unlike Alice in Chains. But there is not only attitude on these two tracks, but it sounds fresh. I double dare Motley Crue to come up with anything close to even these two tracks, let alone whatever else Mick has supplied us here. All right, guys, so my question to the tribe tonight is, what side of the line are you on on this whole debate? Is Mick Mars in the right, or is Motley Crue right for replacing him and offering him less? Or are you one of those who don't care either way? You're a Motley Crue fan, and whatever Motley Crue puts out is just 
fine with you. Okay, that's it for tonight's video. I'm Michael Noland. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I always ask that, but it's true. It helps the YouTube algorithm better identify each video to a wider audience. So I appreciate you guys doing that. And if you haven't subbed, I don't know why you're waiting. Uh, it's so easy. All you have to do is hit that subscribe to the tribe button, tap that top bell icon. That's always important. That way you're notified of all of my future videos as they come out, just like this one. All right, folks, I'm Michael Nolan. This is The Bottom Line, and together, in the comments especially, we are the tribe.